Okay, picture this. You're on a perfect trail ride, the sun is shining, everything's great, and then, bam, your horse slams on the brakes. His head shoots up, ears pricked forward, and he's staring, like really staring at, well, at absolutely nothing. We have all been there. But what if I told you he's not just being difficult, he's reacting to a world that you and I literally cannot see? Right? This is the million-dollar question for every single rider. Why the sudden spin in the middle of the field? Why the massive snort at an empty corner of the arena? We tend to write it off as them being spooky or unpredictable. But the real answer? It isn't about their mood at all. You know, for years, we've all heard these incredible stories and myths about how horses see. But it turns out, a lot of what we've been told is just plain wrong. So today, we're going to bust those myths wide open. We're going to step into their world and see what's really going on behind those big, beautiful eyes. First things first, you have to wrap your head around this number, 350 degrees. That's a horse's field of view. It's nearly panoramic. Think about it. They are basically living inside a giant wraparound movie screen. While we're stuck seeing what's right in front of us, they see almost everything all at once. For a prey animal, that's a huge advantage. But it comes with two big blind spots one tiny one right in front of their nose, and a bigger one directly behind their tail. Okay, so that brings us to our first and probably the most popular myth out there. It's this wild idea that horses see the world like a scene from the Matrix, you know, in constant dramatic slow motion. You've probably heard this one before, right? It sounds amazing. The idea that a little plastic bag caught on a fence looks to them like this, meticulously choreographed predator attack. It's a really cool story, but... It's just not the scientific reality. So here's the reality check. Horses don't see in slow motion. The truth is actually way more impressive. Their entire visual system is hardwired to detect fast movement, especially on the edges of their vision, far quicker than our brains can even register it. So it's not about seeing more frames. It's about reacting to a sudden change in one of those frames instantly. This, this is the kind of chart that gets passed around that feeds the whole myth. Look at it. It shows this massive, unbelievable gap. This chart claims humans are at 16 hertz and horses are over 100, but that's actually not true. In reality, both species are much closer, around 50 to 60 hertz. I mean, if this were true, our world would look like a choppy, old-timey silent film to them. But now, let's look at the real data. The actual flicker fusion rate, that's the speed the brain processes images, is, well, it's remarkably similar. We're around 50 to 60 hertz, and horses, they're right there with us, around 55 to 65 hertz. This just perfectly shows that the difference isn't the speed of perception, it's all about their sensitivity to motion. So let's circle back to that terrifying plastic bag. The reason it's so scary isn't because they see every single crinkle in slow-mo, no. It's because their survival-focused brain, which is constantly scanning that huge 350-degree view, picks up on a tiny, sudden movement on the very edge of their vision and it screams one word, predator. Before they even know what it is, their instinct has already told them to get out of there. All right, let's move on to our next myth, which honestly sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. This is the idea that horses have a secret color vision that lets them see this glowing ultraviolet world that we are totally blind to. Yeah, the claim is that horses see things like fresh urine trails glowing on the ground like neon signs pointing the way. And, you know, what's so fascinating about this is how much we want it to be true. We want them to have these secret superpowers. But again, the science tells a slightly different and I think more interesting story. So, horses are what's called dichromats. This is the key to their color vision. See, we have three types of color cones for red, green, and blue. They only have two. This means their world is painted in these really beautiful shades of blue and yellow. That bright red rain sheet you have, to your horse, it probably looks like a dull brownish gray. And while their lenses do let some UV light through, there's no evidence they actually see it as a color or glowing trail. Their reactions come from brightness and contrast differences, not UV vision. So if they aren't seeing some glowing UV warning sign, why in the world do they sometimes refuse to walk through a simple puddle? Well, it all comes down to their incredible sensitivity to glare and contrast. To their eyes, which are built to notice contrast way more than fine detail, the bright, shiny surface of the water right next to the dark, sharp edge of the ground, that doesn't register as puddle. It registers as a sudden, weird break in the terrain, a potential hole they could fall right into. And that leads us right into our final myth. One that's often tied to their cousins, the zebras. 
This is the idea that horses have some kind of superpower when it comes to seeing patterns and stripes in particular. So the myth goes that they can see stripes with three times the sharpness that we can. But this kind of oversimplifies a really fascinating trade-off that happened in their evolution. Here's the deal. Evolution is all about trade-offs. You can't be good at everything. We humans, we have excellent visual acuity. That means we're great at seeing fine detail. We can read a road sign from far away. Horses, on the other hand, they traded some of that fine detail vision for absolutely superior contrast detection. To put it simply, we are better at seeing what something is. They are much, much better at seeing that something is there at all. Now think about that from a survival point of view. A predator, like a lion or a tiger, is often hiding in the tall grass, which creates these patterns of light and dark. A horse's brain is just hardwired to flag any high contrast pattern, whether it's bold stripes on a jump standard or the sharp shadow of a tree branch on the trail as a potential danger signal. It's not that they see it more sharply than we do, it's that their brain assigns way more importance to it. So, after busting all these myths, where does that leave us? Well, we can finally start to piece together the world as a horse truly sees it. It's a world that isn't slow or glowing or hyper-detailed. It's a world that is perfectly and beautifully designed for one thing, survival. Let's put it all together. What you see as a harmless plastic bag, they experience as a sudden lightning fast movement on their periphery. What you see as just a puddle on the trail, they see as a disorienting high contrast shape that might be a hole. And that beautiful dappled shadow from a tree? To their brain, that's a high contrast striped pattern that could be hiding a predator. So how can we actually use this? Well, we can start trying to see the world a little bit more like they do. Start to notice those little movements on the edges of your own vision. Pay attention to sharp, dark shadows on the ground, or the bright glare coming off a car window. And maybe most importantly, we can reframe their spook. It is not drama, it's data. It's your horse giving you valuable information about how they are perceiving the world in that exact moment. And that really is the ultimate takeaway. You're not just partners with an animal, you're partnered with a living, breathing predator detection machine that is fine-tuned to a reality we can't even begin to register. So the next time your horse spooks at nothing, just take a breath, look around from their perspective, and maybe, just maybe, thank him. Because from his point of view, he might have just saved you both from a monster that, in his world, was very, very real. Thanks for watching. At Reality X Decoded, we love exploring how animals truly experience the world and we always aim to keep our videos as accurate and easy to understand as possible. Our content isn't official teaching, just science explained in a clear, enjoyable way. If you ever spot something we can improve or want us to decode another animal's reality, let us know in the comments. See you in the next adventure.